Welcome to Southwest Florida Real Estate Update, hosted by local Realtors, Jim, Michael, and Morgan York of the York Real Estate Group of Downing Fry Realty. Our show will bring you the most up-to-date information on the local real estate market, featuring the leading experts in the real estate field. Hi, and welcome to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Update. I'm Michael York of the York Real Estate Group, and today we're joined by our host, Jim York, and his guest, Don Ross Jr., president of Ross Title and Escrow. Thank you, Michael, for the introduction. Well, Don, we're here today. We're gonna talk about when a person can, does has a contract right. and it's accepted, mm -hmm. what's conveyed to them? The land, uh, right. any improvements to the land, which is the home, the condo, uh, whatever, and then fixtures within the home. Uh, anything that's uh, glued, screwed, nailed, uh, designed specifically for the space uh, involved. So under the common law, it's those items. Under a contract, it goes a bit beyond that. And how about the the curtains and stuff like that. Well, under the, under the Naples Board of Realtors right. contract, we, we got 13 lines of tangible property, and I, I strongly recommend all uh, sellers, all buyers, all realtors go over that together because there's things in there that could inadvertently be conveyed, like an audio visual home entertainment system uh, that the seller will, might not have intended to convey. Uh, if you're adding things to this 13 lines, uh, that might be an issue if the buyer is getting a mortgage. So because of the recent changes on what tangible personal property is going with the real property, um, and because of some of these items being very expensive, I strongly recommend that the seller read it, so they don't inadvertently give something away, the right. buyer read it, and the realtor go over with them, and even have them initial it next to it if you want to. Um, you just want to beat it to death. You know, we also take pictures too. Yeah, there's things disappear. Uh, the, the point I try to make with people is uh, we, we got people from 50 different states and multiple countries buying down here, and wherever they're from, they do it differently. So out of good faith, they could pack something, could be on a truck going to Minnesota, and it's too late, you've ha you got the walk through, it's on the truck. Yeah, because like up north, not the refrigerators and, and uh, washer and dryers don't convey in some states. Yeah, we, we, we essentially have 50 different countries That's right. with different customs and different contracts and people just don't know. So go mm. over it, I mean, you just have to go over it. So when a person has furniture that's included, what's your suggestion how to handle that? Well, uh, I, I, want, I go, one, is there a mortgage? Because mm -hmm. if there's a mortgage, the bank's not gonna wanna give a 30-year mortgage on a couch or a chair, or something like that. If, if there's no mortgage, I want clarity of communication between buyer and seller. Uh, you can do turnkey furnish as of the effective date, which is everything minus, and then have your short list. Uh, if the items being conveyed is a relatively short list, do that. You can add it to the contract. This is what's being conveyed. Be very clear. And I would take pictures not only to deal with the honest mistakes, uh, but also to protect uh, the buyer if there's damage. You know, the seller has a responsibility to maintain uh, items you know, between the effective date and the closing date. And we always have a bill of sale, right, as an we have We have a bill of sale, and I always read it to people uh, just to make sure there's no oversight, because a lot of times they'll add something, they'll subtract something, and uh, occasionally I'll get a question on, well, we don't have that in our house. I say, well, it's there in case you do. You know, it's right. whatever, whatever was there when this, was, this contract was signed. Uh, but I, I don't want them in my office two weeks later upset because of some painting that's miss missing. And, and on paintings, when you do turnkey furnish, you gotta be as specific as possible because there's a difference between furnished and furnishings. Mm -hmm. And you, it's just the dictionary meaning. Furnishings can be more uh, broader category. So you, you're really just trying to make sure people have a clear understanding, there's no miscommunication, recognizing they come from different parts of the country, where it's different, and different parts of the world. Yep. Well, I think that was a very informative and I hope everybody feels that it is also. Thank, Thank you. you, Jim. Looking for a real estate closing agent in Southwest Florida? Ross Title and Escrow has over 25 years experience and has closed over 20,000 residential real estate transactions. 
Donald Ross Jr., president of Ross Title and Escrow and a practicing attorney in the state of Florida with a degree in taxation, is here to service your needs. Call Mr. Ross or one of our four closing agents for a free consultation today. Thinking of buying or selling a home in Naples, Marco Island, Bonita, or Estero, Florida? Think of the most experienced York Real Estate Group, associated with the number one brokerage in Southwest Florida, Downing Fry Realty, which produces yearly real estate transactions of over a billion dollars. Jim, Michael, and Morgan make up the York Real Estate Group of Downing Fry Realty, with over $275 million in sales transactions, along with offering over 25 combined years experience in the local market. The Yorks can offer the experience and trust you need in a Realtor. Call them today at 239-273-6727 or visit their website at www.naplesyorkrealestate.com.